Hey there, and thanks for joining me for another episode of YKG in Bloom. My name is Tracy Martins, and this evening I have the ladies behind Cotton Candy with me. We have Amanda Clark and Sam Toffelmeyer. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you, Thank so, you so much for having, for having us. us. It's great. I'm so excited. Everybody knows me. I love anything that has sugar in it. Now, before we started, we were talking about, I want to get right into this while I'm thinking about it, talking about flavored cotton candy. <laughs> um, it's actually pretty easy to mix sugar with uh, flavoring. And then we kind of have put our own spin on some of these flavors where we've taken different um, pre-made cotton candy flavorings and blended them together to kind of put our own spin on things. So what flavors do you guys offer? Um, we have Long raspberry. List, yeah. So we like pretty much anything fruity. So you like watermelon, strawberry, cherry. Um, we've got bubble gum and then like pina colada, green apple, blue raspberry, grape, orange. We've got our own special. So as you're saying, like a specialty blend is our lemonade because we also do freshly squeezed lemonade. So um, we have that blend that is a, a feature for us. And we like to pair that with some of the fruits because we do flavoring in our cotton candy. So I think people really associate the traditional um, blue raspberry and cherry. Those are definitely by far our most popular flavors. Um, and I think that's what people think of when they hear like, you know, you buy something else that's cotton candy flavored. Yeah. Um, often that's kind of what they're referring to. So, and I never even really thought about it when you, you just said that it's <laughs> like blue raspberry or cherry. It's like, I didn't even think about the flavor. I just wolfed it down and now <laughs> called it a day. And that's most people. They, they just think of it as it's just colored sugar. Yeah. They don't associate the flavor to it, but there is some good flavoring and it is once you actually realize that and you taste it, then you'll see the difference. Nice. I think we know too that, uh, uh, definitely there's a lot of kids, especially we come across that are very um, in tune with the flavors and they know exactly what they like and exactly what they don't. So <laughs> that's awesome. Now, what was it your husband, Jason, that his family is the one that really started the cotton candy? Yes. So um, Jason's uh, family um, has traveled with different carnivals. They've had various uh, different food trucks and, and ventures. Um, so they had the equipment. It's been passed down for a couple of generations. So when I met Jason, he would randomly pick up an event here or there making cotton candy. Um, along the way, we started doing things a little more together while still, you know, uh, starting our family and working full time. Um, the name kind of came out of nowhere. It just kind of happened and uh, things just kind of slowly started to build and take off. Wow. So they went with the carnivals as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I hate had a taco trailer for a while. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I hate to say it, but for one summer, I actually ran away with the carnival and oh, wow. I don't know how I was not, in, I didn't end up a diabetic eating all of the cotton candy. Was it a blast? I feel like it'd be a lot of fun. You know what? It was. I. It's fun for about the first month. And then it, I was calling my mom going, okay, I need to come home. It's hard work. Right. No joke. It really is the teardown, the setup. You're in one town like every few days mm -hmm. and it doesn't last that long. Mm -hmm. So you guys just stick with the Windsor-Essex County area? Uh, we ventured into Chatham-Kent a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we love going to uh, Dresden Night Market. We've done a few things in Blenheim. We're hoping to get out to Thamesville. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. This, uh, this upcoming season. So we're, we're definitely willing to kind of expand a little bit, but... As That's we get a little bit more comfortable with kind of our products and what we need and set up and tear down, mm -hmm. um, we're a little bit easier on the, okay, we can travel somewhere now and we can do this. Um, we have a lot of stuff. So it takes <laughs> uh, it takes a, a whole truck and a trailer to how get many, us places. So. How many staff do you have during the season? It depends on the event, but mm. I think our largest event uh, the last season we had, was there, I think there were six of six people six hired staff. plus mm -hmm. the four of us. Yeah. Well, yeah. okay, five. Don't forget your manager, <laughs> Brooklyn. Yes. yes. You, you can't forget the most important one. She brings in the big bucks from she what does. I've heard. She does. Yes. The tips are good for her. Nice. 
And it's nice for her to learn at such a oh, young yeah. age. Yes, it's that great. is uh, probably one of the best parts about it is being able to have the kids in the tent with us. And Min and Jason's are still a little tiny, uh, young, a little bit young for us to have them there all the time. But oftentimes at uh, local events and stuff like that, you'll see R2 with us. Uh, yeah, they're a little bit older, so they can help a little bit better. Oh, that's awesome. Now, we did talk about cotton candy. What other products do you guys offer? Um, we are very well known for our candy apples and caramel apples. We do fresh squeezed lemonade, which is always a blast in the summer. Um, we offer your delicious movie theater popcorn, um, as well as our mini donuts. Are the mini donuts new? Uh, no, we've been doing them since, I think, fall 2021. We rolled those out. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have not tried them yet, but I have tried the lemonade, which is amazing with the <laughs> cherry in it. Oh, yes. Oh. That's one of the best. <laughs> yep. And I have not been able to try the caramel apples yet. Now, I saw the pictures that they had nuts on them. Did you say that they have, you had other sprinkles on them as well? Uh, yes, we've done a whole bunch of different toppings, especially this year. We had a lot of fun with it. Um, something that's kind of unique to us, we think, is we've uh, started rolling them in actually our donut uh, cinnamon sugar. Oh. So the texture is amazing. You have that chewy caramel with the, you know, the, the texture sugar. of the cinnamon sugar and the taste um, is just amazing. That's my all-time favorite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. We like to be festive sometimes too, like depending on like the holiday. So mm -hmm. Christmas time, we were um, M&Ms, uh, different uh, Christmas colored sprinkles and stuff like that, just to kind of make them pop a little bit and give them a little bit extra character. And then I know for the cotton candy, it is the glitter bombs. Yep. We started those um, a couple of years ago as well. So that's just a little puff of cotton candy. In the middle, we put some edible glitter. They are super super fun for champagne toasts or um, we went through a ton of them um, over New Year's. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day St. Patrick's one, Day, yeah, right? Halloween. It's a, it's a good thing. Um, everybody likes their green beer, but yeah. you can do, if you don't like beer, you can add a glitter bomb to uh, a Sprite, a 7-Up, or it makes it a little bit kid-friendly too. It doesn't have to be an alcoholic beverage as long as it's carbonated and then it'll kind of fizz up and give you a a uh, nice swirl of oh, glitter. The, and, the mm -hmm. kids love that. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. I can They're imagine. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So do you guys sell any in the stores or is it just... We the... do. Um, a lot of our markets are seasonal. So mm -hmm. um, right now we have some product at NTLD's Kitchen. Um, we've stocked the farmhouse market out in McGregor. In the past, we've stocked um, local eats on, on Walker Road. And then we, once those farmer's markets start opening up, um, things really take off. And we've got a lot of product at the Willow Tree. Um, Sofs and, and Woodsley. Um, Raymond's Berries. So a lot of your seasonal places will usually have some of our, our products. And then uh, fall, our apple season, September, October, that's when our retail is at its highest is those two months because everybody wants the apples. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, yeah. do, are you guys offering the products, the candy apples and uh, your cotton candy at the orchards? Um, we actually have stocked Allsop's Farm. So it's a pumpkin farm out in Kingsville. Um, that would be our biggest, uh, especially in the fall. They go through hundreds of apples. <laughs> Literally cannot <laughs> keep apples there. <laughs> and it's cotton candy. Um, the orchards, a lot of times they're doing their own thing, which is fantastic. We are pretty excited that we we um, get our apples locally from Simpson's Orchard. Hmm. Um, so they also stock our product as well. And I know you guys were at Bright Lights this year yes. and you put a fun spin on the cotton candy for the kids. That was um, more than what we could have ever dreamt of. <laughs> so we had had, um, so it's on a glow stick. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's just like a little light up uh, stick and the cotton candy gets spun right on it. We've had them for a while, mm -hmm. uh, but in the summertime, it's hard to have a night event because it stays light so late into the day. So um, it was a good <laughs> opportunity for it by bright lights. It's dark by the time the lights are turned on, which is kind of the whole concept of the thing. But <laughs> so adding a little bit more light to it with the glow up sticks was, it was a hit. The kids were loving it. The adults were loving it. Yeah. 
It, it was it was wild. We couldn't have, have thought that it was going to go any better than that. It was amazing. That was definitely among the most fun I think we've had yes. doing yes. anything. Oh, it was a blast. Yeah. <laughs> it, so it was a lot of firsts last year. <laughs> and you guys did Art in the Park for the first time. Yes. We did. Yeah. <laughs> it, last year was our first full calendar year yeah. of mm -hmm. working together. Um, Jason and Greg started um, in 2021, the summer, uh, where we were just kind of coming out of lockdowns and we were able to do a little bit, but not everything. So uh, it was midway through the year. So we've had a full calendar year now under our belts. And so last year was a first of everything pretty much. Yeah. So was that when uh, your husbands first met? Because I know they met during fantasy baseball. Yeah. Yes. So they've been friends probably for a couple of years. Yep. Um, and then things just kind of fell together. Um, Sam had her own business that she was um, visiting markets and things with. Yep. Um, Greg kind of reached out to Jason asking for, um, you know, some some ideas on markets she could attend. Yep. Um, they kind of decided, well, if we're both going to be there anyway. We might as well work together. Um, and then we just really enjoyed working all together. Yeah. And things just kind of fell together naturally. Um, and so I think it probably was like match made in heaven. Uh, <laughs> our very first <laughs> Kingsville stroll streets that we were doing mm -hmm. Um they had a tra an older trailer and they that's how they got everything to the event mm -hmm. and on the way home lost a tire <sighs> they were stuck on the <laughs> side of the road for hours oh my god the two of them <laughs> together um and as much as like they they hadn't really partnered together in business other than that night um i think that's kind of when jason realized hey this guy's in it with me and is 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 going to stick with me and, and he's a good partner so let's go and it kind of has just uh been uphill downhill and side to side ever since it's like a whirlwind it's, it's like, like it's like family it. instead yes. of friends it is yes absolutely our kids are uh they they love each other and and they get along great and our it's kind of a nice balance ours are older mm -hmm. theirs are a little bit younger so ours can kind of help theirs and that's they, they just they're one. It's just well, one little family. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you guys starting to book or are you booked for this year yet? Things so, are trickling in, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. The calendar is filling up. Yeah, this year I, I think our goal is to not necessarily get rid of all of the little one-day markets because we really enjoy a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And we like to be local and and with all of those makers that are local because they're, they're great people. They've become friends. Um, but we're at that point where we're confident that we can handle bigger events this year. Mm -hmm. um, so last year, our biggest uh, events were um, Art in the Park and the Sun Parlor Rodeo in Ruthven. Oh, wow. Um, so those are both the, the two-day uh, events. And I think this year we're probably comfortable with expanding that a little bit, um, reaching a little bit further for travel and and going for a little bit bigger events, those three, maybe four-day events if if those uh, opportunities arise. So I know I saw you guys at Art in the Park and my <laughs> husband and I were walking by. It was like, there's a line up down the aisle. I was like, okay, I guess we're not getting anything yeah. there. Yeah. Amazing. And like we... <laughs> That was more than what we ever could have expected. I think that was more than what they expected, to be honest. <laughs> Everybody had been locked down for so long and just truly wanted to get out. Oh, yeah. And I feel like with the pandemic, everybody is so willing to help local now because they've really understood what it is to have local businesses be able to help support you in a time when you can't get things from the big box stores. Exactly. So. It's personable. It builds relationships. Yeah. I personally enjoyed going to a local market that is down the street from my house mm -hmm. because it was smaller. There was like barely anybody that was allowed in there. You get to know them. They'll bring mm -hmm. stuff in for you, deliver. It, it's great to have this community that we've built in the YQG area. I find it's very much a tight-knit family. Yep. And people, and, for the most part, help each other. Yep. And I think it was really like when you couldn't go to the store and buy things for, you know, birthdays and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you could reach out to small businesses online and you could do porch pickups and you could do, you know, you could bring some excitement into those things that, you know, otherwise during the pandemic weren't all that exciting and were, you know, sad for some people and, and it really helped people kind of get through that time. So. And I think for 
us, it kind of benefited us in a way because the carnival wasn't in town. So when you're looking for those mm -hmm. candy apples and caramel mm -hmm. apples and cotton candy, they weren't coming to you. So enter us. <laughs> we were kind of able to really connect with our um, our customer base. And as well, I know um, it got to a point, I think, in the early spring of 2021, where we hadn't done anything at all with the cotton candy business. The machines have been, you know, packed away for quite some time. And my husband actually just decided one day, I'm going to set it up in the driveway and I'm going to post on Facebook in our local group, um, have free cotton candy at my driveway and just gave out oh cotton candy goodness. because you just really miss that experience of, you know, was there a line up down bang. the street? Mm -hmm. It was, yeah, not really, but it was very steady. That's good. Yeah, it was really fun. You can't get to the store and have your sad cookies. You get your sad cotton yeah. candy yeah. <laughs> delivered to your door, which is I, even better. I had actually taken my kids for a walk while he was doing it. And someone stopped me on the side of the road, like, Hey, there's a house in this neighborhood <laughs> giving out cotton candy. <laughs> We're like, oh, is there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, do you guys also do events? Uh, or I shouldn't say events, like if people ha are having parties, engagement parties, birthday parties. Um, we definitely do a lot of favors, a lot of custom orders for birthdays, which has been really fun. We can often fit a theme, um, you know, with little stickers on the cotton candy or, you know, colors that, that suit the event theme. Um, we did do a donut bar at a wedding, which yeah. was a new experience, um, in the fall. Yeah, that was, that was fun. It was, um, kind of like their midnight snack type, uh, deal. So we set up the donut machine there, rolled hot, fresh donuts off the the machine and it was a big hit. So uh, we're not opposed to it. Mm -hmm. If we get asked to do it and we have the availability, then it's, it's definitely something that we would consider. And I know you did do popcorn for Super Bowl. Yep. For yep. an event yep. because... And, mini yep. donuts. and we did the mini donut pre-order. Oh. So a lot of times we'll do a pre-order. So donuts are great. Uh, they are a lot of work. It does take a lot of manpower to do. Um, so uh, in the thick of season and our event season, sometimes donuts don't make it to all of the events, mm. just um, lemonade, cotton candy and stuff. That's more of the summer type uh, treats people are looking for. So in the fall and winter, we'll try to do a couple of pre-order days for people that are looking like what we did Super Bowl. People are having mm -hmm. parties, mm -hmm. um, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and stuff like that. When people are mm -hmm. visiting family and stuff like that and you need to bring something to a party or something, those are, that's a, the perfect thing to add to. It's easy. You can just come pick it up. Yeah. And um, the, when we can produce a lot more, it's a lot easier for us than we can't do a small batch the the smallest batch of donuts we can do is about 700 donuts so it's got it's got to be worth it for us to <laughs> to start the machine so okay personal challenge accepted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you <laughs> so if anybody wants 700 donuts <laughs> give us a call <laughs> i might share one or two <laughs> now obviously I, you can't just eat one no, or two can. you know so i we get a lot of people that are like oh can i take six and then they buy six and then they're like that wasn't enough i always oh suggest God. to them because we <laughs> usually at events we'll have six 12 or 18 mm -hmm. and I'm like you might as well just go with the 12 and even better go with the 18 because you're not going to be disappointed and, well, and they're mini so they yes. are they're like two bites yeah now I'm not one that really likes a lot of popcorn but when I went to your house to meet with you guys it was a week or so after Super Bowl and they had this big bag of popcorn and they're like, do you want it? And I don't eat popcorn, but my husband does, so I'll bring it home. Yep. And then I opened it on the drive home and it is the cinema popcorn and I just started eating it. And then every time he ate it, it's not for, you know, we, we picked at it for a few days, but my entire living room just smelled mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. it smelled like the movie theaters. Yep. It was so good. It is good. It is. So I've changed my opinion of popcorn. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's always good. <laughs> It was, fun it was amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. We love those classic, you know, movie theater popcorn mm -hmm. or, you know, our red candy apples, like those things that are very timeless mm -hmm. and, and everyone can really enjoy. Well, it makes you feel like your childhood again. <laughs> Brings you back well. to when you were a kid. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, if, say, somebody just wanted to get a couple tubs of popcorn, popcorn or your cotton candy, can they get in touch with you online and just grab that or does it have to be event size? 
Uh, we often have a little bit of a stockpile for that reason. Um, a lot of times we can accommodate a quick order. Um, and we get a lot of that, especially during our off season. People are looking for it. And um, we actually switch from the bags to the tubs for stuff like that because it does have a longer shelf life. Mm. It provides um, a more consistent product and allows us to reach more people um, because the bags, you know, they're they're not good after, you know, the next day, but the tubs, they last weeks, if not months. So oh, wow. um, we will constantly make cotton candy, constantly have things available. Um, we can also be reached for custom orders, um, like for birthday parties and stuff like that. People will order like a larger number um, or we are usually pretty accessible in retail, especially during the summer. Yes. So, yeah. Now, do you find people order for, say, Academy Award parties that that <laughs> will be coming up soon? Maybe. Yeah, that, maybe. I haven't really I think heard. that's a good idea. Yeah. I haven't yeah. had any of that. Our biggest ones are your wedding gifts, or like their mm -hmm. favors, um, baby showers, um, birthday parties for kids and and that sort of stuff that's our, our biggest ones we get a lot of uh, corporations as well like they like to do treats for their staff um a lot of them will have like a monthly budget that they're working with so we get a lot of that uh mm -hmm. business as well especially in our off season when they're trying to kind of keep employment employees engaged and and stuff like that during the winter and stuff so those are always fun as well i think our our largest order to date was the 2000 tubs for yeah. the University of Windsor's <laughs> opening of the new sports center. So uh, that was pretty, that was pretty interesting. Oh, wow. Until you get an order that size, you don't really think about how do you deliver 2000 tubs of cotton candy? So, well, yeah, it's one thing to make it, but another thing to get it how there. Do you, how do you transport that? Yes. So. And that was something too. They, they had wanted us to come out and we're like, oh yeah, we'd love to be there. Like, what are the details? But we only had, I think it was a, a two hour window to get everything out. And they were anticipating, uh, hundreds, hundreds uh, you know, people. Yeah. about 2000 people would come out for this celebration. And we just thought, you would need we, tons we, of machines. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, we weren't yes. set up that way. So <laughs> we kind of suggested the, why don't we pre-make it for you, bring it to you, and you guys can can give it out uh, yourselves. And uh, they were like, that's, that's a brilliant idea. Didn't even think of that. So that's what we did. And we had to, we... Um, we got great big, huge bags. Like you can stand inside the bag. So we, <laughs> we put 500 tubs in each bag, loaded them in the back of our husband's trucks. They each had two great big bags. They were yeah. transporting down to the University of Windsor. Thank goodness cotton candy's light and you can carry it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness it didn't go flying. Yes, yes. yes. No, they, <laughs> that was more like you. <laughs> you need to know Greg and Jason to, under, to appreciate this. We're never going to lose anything out of no. a truck or a trailer because the way that they tie things down is insane. <laughs> Awesome. But lifetime supply of bungee cords. <laughs> bungee cords, <laughs> ratchet straps. Yeah. There's always a secure load. They're not, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> How many cotton candy machines do you guys have? I think we're up to four. Yes. I think. So we um, have the two main ones and then there's mm -hmm. a couple old ones. I think that yeah. they could still work if they really had to, <laughs> but we're, we're not going to test it at a art in the park type events <laughs> where we're, we're spinning all day long. So we actually had a machine, an older machine, uh, kind of go down for repairs the week of art in the park. Oh, yeah. And so it was like, how do we get a cotton candy machine in Here. three days? Yes. Uh, and we did it and yeah. <laughs> it worked great and it's smooth sailing now, but that was a scary moment. So we will probably never throw one out because we now yes. want to have a backup. So do you bring two to the events like art in the park? Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We usually yes. bring two. It yep. makes it, uh, you, that's how you get the two flavors in the bag. Um, it's not so easy to switch colors between, you know, one color uh, to the next. That's so true. usually we run one color per machine and that allows us to kind of move our line a little quicker. Do you bring the popcorn too? Um, popcorn. Yeah. If we, uh, kind of depends on the situation. So sometimes a lot of times there's some amazing people who, uh, popcorn is kind of their whole game and they're absolutely experts in their field. So mm. a lot of times, we are kind of asked not to bring popcorn for that reason. Oh, that's um, cool. uh, a lot of markets really try and make sure that everyone has an opportunity to really su succeed. So you may not always see uh, popcorn on our menu, but sometimes we do bring it out. It just kind of depends. Depends on the event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we pre pop. Yeah. Other times we bring the machine. It really uh, depends on the atmosphere, it depends on the event. Um, anything food, smell is your 
key. You need that to draw people in. So yeah. uh, cotton candy doesn't smell usually. Like, I mean, it, it'll sell, <laughs> smell a little bit sweet, but it doesn't have that smell that kind of drifts and, mm-hmm. you know, wafts and butter. brings those mm-hmm. people into you. So um, the popcorn's definitely our teaser with that. If we, if we can bring it and pop there, that's the reason why. It's because we want you to smell it and find us. A lot of Great times, idea. too, when we're picking our menu, like we try and, I guess, read the room. So um, we get these really, really hot summer days in Windsor, Essex, and not everyone is like, you know what I want is a warm bag of donuts. But they do love lemonade, so it kind of just depends on our, our menu is pretty fluid, and we try and yeah. um, change it up a lot. So yeah. always keep coming back to us to try new things. Speaking of new things, do you have anything new that's going to be coming out this season? This is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, this weekend, we actually, and we've tried quite a few times, we um, kind of tested out uh, cotton candy birthday cakes. So it's just many layers of different colors of cotton candy. We threw some sprinkles on um, for effect. It's something we've been asked a lot about. We There's a huge market for... Uh, you know, something different, something allergen friendly, something with no gluten, no dairy, and maybe vegan. So enter cotton candy. Uh, What kid or adult wouldn't be super excited to have a cotton candy with a cake? Um, That is so cool. That is, yeah. It's uh, outside the box and nobody (laughs) really really would think of that, but for all of those... I'm trying to envision it. Yes, mm. yes. <laughs> it's 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 a container, and it's just like she said, just layers of different mm-hmm. colors of cotton candy, and you just once it's compressed into the container, that's what kind of makes it stay its shape. And then you take it out and you <laughs> cut it just like a cake, and then oh. you get layers of cotton candy. Mm-hmm. I know, because I was just thinking, I'm like, how are they going to cut <laughs> yeah, this? It's yeah. just going to oh you no, know, it's no, so easy. no, yeah, <laughs> that's. Awesome. Yeah. Right now we're filming. It's right before March break. So this is coming out now. So it's perfect. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It'd be They're... special order. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if we have a huge amount of uh, testing that we've done yet. I know we we like to test our products just to make sure before we put them out for retail or anything mm-hmm. like that. So we can confirm shelf life. We always want to make sure that our products are, you know, in the best shape presentation wise and that you're not going into a retailer and you've got a shrunken cake in the middle of a great big plastic <laughs> container that's, you know, the size of a baseball now. So yes. it takes a little bit of work on our end to make sure that when we can provide that product, that it's a quality product and it's it's going to hold up to. Now, how sometime. do you keep it that size? Um, so it's sealed in the container, so okay. it shouldn't shrink. It's really packed in there. Um, I want to say we've probably made, I don't know, more than 10 now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this one, like, we finally feel like we've got a good system where we can get lots of color in there, lots of fun things. So, yeah, yeah. yeah they should hold up really well. And they should be a lot of fun. So we're hoping yeah. to just kind of keep a couple on hand um, throughout the year so that we kind of always are, are ready if someone's looking for one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's the... They're somewhat time consuming to make because you need to switch the colors. So the reason why we had so many colors this weekend <laughs> was because of our Easter uh, cotton candy that we just uh, shared with the the internet world it was a tower of six tubs of cotton candy Yes, in the rainbow colors with all the different flavors. <laughs> um, and then we package it in a nice little package. It's a perfect gift for kids or any cotton candy level you don't have to be a kid to love <laughs> cotton candy but a uh, perfect gift for for easter it's so colorful and bright it's very springy and getting you into the spring mood i know they were really really this. pretty yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> and i'm a chocolate freak and I, I honestly i was looking at those going yeah i might want those <laughs> it's day. something different right like yeah. not all kids like chocolate mm-hmm. and you've got a huge amount of different allergies and different dietary needs that sometimes parents need to think about. So it's just that little, something a little bit different, something unique that you can, you can give. So it's, it's been a great hit so far. Uh, we've got a contest on Facebook currently, so we're going to give one away to a lucky winner. And uh, I know the winner is not me. <laughs> <laughs> but we not tried. Yeah. <laughs> we figured we wanted to create something that, you know, like, 
a, a kid or whoever gets that and they're, you know, super excited. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think we, I think we really nailed it. I think it turned out way better than we thought it yeah. even would. And we're really excited about this. So yeah. Yeah, we're beautiful. hoping to keep them on our shelves as much as we can yeah. um, at events so that people can use, pick them up as gifts yeah. or if, you know, they just want to try a bunch of different of our our flavors popular flavors, stuff, yeah. um, they're available. So yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. You just switch up the flavors, and, and the, it's the snack size everything. tub. So it's you know a good quantity of each. You get enough, but it's not like a whole big tub of six mm. cotton candies. So it's kind of we're trying to help the parents with the sugar, <laughs> um, but you get, a, you get a lot of goodness too. So you're not helping me with this. <laughs> it is a lot of sugar, but that's okay. It's, it's fun. You know, it they're going to wolf that down in a day or two, have a high. And yeah. my recommendation is always to send your kid to grandma's house with the cotton candy. Yes. That's always your best bet. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> the relative or yeah, friend exactly. that you least like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it has been so much fun having you guys here <laughs> and I can't wait for the season to start so I can get my hands on some cotton candy mm -hmm. and <laughs> we're very excited as well yeah yeah I know I'm going to try and get out there and maybe have some podcasts on the go that would be super yeah. fun. Yeah. We'd love to yes. have you. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you give us a heads up, though, because sometimes we're, <laughs> we're eyeball deep in, the, in oh, behind, yeah. the, behind the booth. So. I'm going to nail you as hard in the booth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. You got to tell us when you're coming so we can make sure we get you some donuts. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, there's some days where you get stuck in that booth and you just can't, can't go. <laughs> a lot of people are like, how was the market? I don't know. Our booth was good. Yes. That's all I know. So it must have been out. good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how can people get a hold of you if they want to order, plan an event themselves? Definitely best to reach us on Instagram or Facebook. We're definitely on there all the time. You can reach us by email at uh, cottoncandy at gmail.com. We do have a website where there's a contact us form as well or more information about contacting us. Yep. Um, but social media is definitely our, our best bet. Now, I will have all their information on my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and all the podcast channels. And thank you so much, Sam and Amanda. I really thank do you. appreciate it. Thank you. It's this been a blast. blast. Yeah. <laughs> it's been and great. I want to thank you all for joining us for another episode of YQG and Bloom. Again, my name is Tracy Martins, and we will talk to you next time. And don't forget to reach out to Cotton Candy. Mm -hmm.